what up data nerds in this series of the tutorial we're going to be going through the basic controls of tableau this is going to be an excellent for those that have either a background in data visualization or don't even have any background at all it'll get you up and running in tableau the key components that we're going to focus on for this uh, video are going to be one the overall control uh, for Tableau and then two actually getting in and making a simple graph and actually applying what we learned about the controls. So if you're interested in that stick along and let's go. The first thing that we're going to focus on is the controls inside of Tableau. So we have this screenshot of the a typical Tableau dashboard probably from uh, probably one of the first versions of Tableau. Thank you. And for this, there are some key components that comprise the actual Tableau application. So you have up at the top the toolbar and ribbon. Sure, that's pretty common to most applications. Um, the next thing that I want to move on to is the data window. So that is, so we're working with the Tableau Superstore data set. And this is where actually all of the different data sets and all the different columns are located and you can actually access. From there, we need to move into the shelves, um, which are highlighted in a uh, bluish teal color. Um, you have your pages and filter shelf, and then you're also your columns and rows shelf. Um, finally, you have your marks card where uh, basically all the magic happens, and uh, we're going to get into that one as well. And then finally, you have the canvas, which is where the actual visualization appears. Uh, something that I didn't necessarily understand when I first uh, started building Tableau. Um, coming from Power BI was that you have to build each individual graph inside of the worksheet itself. And then from there, you build a bunch of different worksheets and you combine it into a single dashboard. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, jump right into actual Tableau. So here we are inside of the Tableau workbook. I'm working with Tableau 2020.2. Um, you may be working with a, another version. Overall, I feel like I've worked with a lot of the different uh, versions that it has, and the overall structure remains the same. Okay, so we recapped everything, uh, or we talked about recently, all the different portions of Tableau, but I feel like until you actually get into implementing um, the use of the different components, you're not actually gonna learn it. So let's, uh, let's start playing around with uh, just a few different data points and see what we can do with it. So the first thing I'm going to look at is I'm, I'm going to look at uh, sales. So what you do is uh, the first thing, if you ever want to visualize something, you come over, you grab the uh, component or the data point that you want to look at. So in this case, I'm going to move sales over here and I'm going to move it into the rows uh, shelf. Now it's going to automatically, uh, um, yeah, continue with this. Uh, it's going to automatically choose that we want to sum the sales. You can right click it and then from there change it to uh, whatever it may be, average, median, count. Um, and yeah, so now, I mean, I don't feel like this provides a lot of value. Maybe we want to look at it from a categorical standpoint. So we can go in and uh, grab the category and move that to the column, okay? So now we're getting a little bit more insight into the actual data itself, and we can see that, okay, the, uh, the data is comprised of three different categories, furniture, off supplies, and technology, and then we can see the sum of sales uh, for these different components. Okay, so, but I feel the next thing that we want to do is, it, once again, we want to take it a step further because this is still not providing a lot of details, and, and let's continue to learn more about this. So let's look at it compared to the date. Um, so we've, we've looked at the column shelf, we looked at the row shelf. Uh, let's look at the uh, filter shelf as well. So we can go ahead, we can drop the order date into the filter shelf and we're gonna filter it on this. So you can see that because it recognizes that the order date is a date, there's a lot of different ways you can aggregate it. You can aggregate it by years, months, days, weeks. Um, whatever it may be. So we're going to look at it from a uh, year's uh, perspective. And then from there, you can see that you can actually select it. So let's, let's go in and select, okay, I want to do only 2019. Boom. Okay. So from here, now we're looking at uh, sales for all the different categories of 2019 using uh, the filters column. 
okay? All right, so let's keep on taking this a, another step further. And let's say we want to uh, make our visualization a little bit more appealing. So let's place the subcategory um, into the marks card so that way we can start seeing all the different subcategories of the categories. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab it. As you know, whenever I go over the marks card, it, you can, it starts to highlight on which one you can point it into. So we're gonna put it into the uh, colors mark card. And bam, from there you can see that we have now colored the categories based on their subcategory. And if we hover over it, it automatically made the, uh, the hovering tooltip. So it tells you the category, the subcategory, and then also how many sales compose that individual subcategory. Okay, so yeah, so we've shown uh, a lot of the different features now. I guess the, the last one left is pages. Pages is uh, not as frequently used, I feel. Um, and I think the, a good example of to use this one is uh, using the year. So right now we're looking at just 2019. What we can do is we can take this and I can drag it into the pages card right here. Okay, and now what it's gonna do is gonna drag, it's gonna provide this uh, control over here in the right hand column to where we can uh, filter through uh, the different years and you can actually see it. It also provides a uh, pretty unique feature where you can control the speed and you can just press play and it will go through all the different years. Uh, so this may be enticing to the person that you're building the dashboard for. I haven't found much use for using uh, the pages card, but uh, definitely keep it in your pocket. Okay, then the last major component to cover is the show me. Now the show me located over in the top right hand corner, this is where um, you actually can go and you can change your visualization depending on what you need. So say I wanted to get a pie chart instead, um, or if I wanted to do a packed bubble chart, um, I can actually change it based on what I need. And then additionally, it provides uh, um, indicators to you so if it's grayed out you understand that you don't have the correct uh, uh, data label selected and it will guide you and tell you okay for a line uh, chart you need to have at least one date and one or more measures uh, based on how we manipulated it just now it is not possible to do that so you'd have to move things around to actually get that visualization okay so that wraps up the basics of control in tableau so we started with understanding what goes into the different controls of Tableau, and then from there we created a very simple visual. Uh, so hopefully this helps you in uh, starting in your Tableau journey. If you're new to this channel, this is a part of a series that we're walking through the basics to understand how to build a visualization in Tableau, where we go from importing a data set from Google Sheets all the way to launching a dashboard in Tableau Public. The dashboard that we launch in Tableau Public is using the Tableau Superstore data set and it's as shown, it goes in and actually evaluates employer performance uh, looking at several different metrics. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you found that interesting. If so, please click that like button. If you're new here, please also consider subscribing. Um, also, down at the bottom in the comments, please comment on what type of things you would like to learn about Tableau. What do you not feel confident in? What would you like to know more? Uh, I'd like to use that to help develop the content for this course. And also, feel free to reach out to me with any of your kind of Tableau questions. Uh, thank you for joining today and hope to see you again.